You get us a clear hub for creep catching content, being the home of top creators such as I don't know what the fuck, this is my first time watching this shit, so I don't know what the fuck this is. Obviously, it's to catch a serial predator, but you know. Self, Skeeter Jean, Anxiety War, and even the Chris Hansen. Would you have a seat? And I think even Chris Hansen himself would be shocked by the heinous crimes of this alleged serial predator who just walked into our motel room to meet a much younger girl. May 26, 2023. On May 26, 2023, a man named Elvis Vasquez reached out to our decoy profile online, making his intentions clear almost immediately. Hey, where are you from? I'm down in the blank. Do you want to smoke? I'm at a motel, and how old are you? Your profile doesn't say anything. What motel? And yeah, lol. I don't like sharing info for safety reasons. What motel are you at? Oh, okay. I'm younger, if that's cool. He completely disregards this and asks again, What motel are you at? Before the girl could even reply, the creep decided to call. Yeah, no, it's pretty fucked up. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm making sure this is deep for you right now, actually. What? Thank you, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Sorry, I was just like a little turned on. You're really hot. Oh, oh, thank you. Why should? I gotta go though. Um, I want to shower and like kind of shave before like you know. Well, I mean, for my first time, I want to make sure it's picture perfect, but, you know. No, girl, I'm serious. I literally just as you are. Yeah, not to sound too eager to, but I'm just like, literally, I would call right now. Well, yeah, but I... They hung up and continued to text. But after the call, Elvis only got creepier. Oh my god, you are so hot. What is voice acting really crazy? I'm 15? Is that a trap? LOL. I mean, no, LOL. Delete the message, Elvis had asked. Do you have any cute pics you could send while I wait in the meanwhile? Or maybe pics before you shower? To satisfy his needs, I sent him my own ass in the mirror to which he replied with these gems. And my caboose had Elvis ready to come over in a heartbeat, but not before I wanted one last call. Okay, yeah, I'm on my way. Okay. What the, my mic wasn't off on me, I'm about to say, what the fuck? Do you think I can get like a little tease? Oh, I don't know, I haven't really done that before, so like... I don't really know what to show. Okay, I mean, I don't know. Just like lift up your shirt, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of self conscious, so I'd rather you just like. Oh, okay, see. Yeah, no, that's cool. Okay, I sorry. Just, I don't yeah, want to like just put that on. You're fine. You're fine. I'll just see you with it. Yeah, okay. Now, people that do this Hi. shit, not. Not, um, now, Elvis was prank, on his but way, not, but at this prank. time, we still knew very little about like, him. He's being super discreet on both a Burner Grinder account girls, and bro, a Burner Snapchat account. A Burner like, is basically just a fake like account made for whatever mental purpose disorder and shit. It usually doesn't be. have your actual name or information. In this case, his fake disorder. name was Dan Tanner. Although no Elvis tiptoed around giving us virtually any real information about himself, I was pretty confident I could find out who he was through my own means. Which I did. But regardless, I never would have expected what we would end up finding out about this absolute cool. Cause my nigga, I'm 22. I'm not even fucking no girl that's 20. Let alone 15. So how the fuck? Look at him. So, what's going to the town? My mom's job. She's okay. I think that's my mom with my whole heart. Mm -hmm. And you gotta be dumb as hell. Why the fuck would you think a 15 year old is in a motel? You gotta be horn, horny as fuck. Like, you, you gotta be. Some of you guys bo like blocked me when they like find out that I'm like 15. I was like, it can't be that bad of an age difference, you know? Right, yeah. Like, how big is the age difference for us? It's like, it can't be that big, no. Right. Even now, despite being in front of a believed 15 year old, clearly questioning their large age difference, Elvis once again clearly, dances around the clearly, question um, how old he actually is. Like, Obvious. It's a big ass age yeah. gap. So I'm like, you know, the same, but like she works. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, it just kind of scares me because it's like, I've heard so many girls in my high school be like, yeah, it hurts. Uh -huh. And so I'm just like, oh, <laughs> like, yeah, what would, yeah. like, what would you do? Like, what? <sighs> No, I feel you. I think it's tough to say. It's like, I don't know. Because, like, in my experience, it shouldn't hurt. Yeah. Like, it's, if you do it correctly, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you're yeah, the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I just feel like just acting so like immature. No, you're fine. You're fine. So like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Asha, did you bring anything? Cause like I'm not trying to like be pregnant. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> sorry, I'm just so, like so like overthink about I anxiety. Thought, no, I should have thought about it too. I didn't. Um, if you're comfortable, I'm, like pulling out this. Ooh. Like, don't come inside. Oh, sorry. I just, like, I never really... Like, and you're trying to go wrong. Really, like, oh, he's a dirty boy. Like, he's a like, dirty, dirty boy. Oh, my man. God. What's going on, man? Oh, I wanted to... Oh, my God. She's like, thank you. Jesus. I'm out of here. She was scared as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. That'd be, man. like, the sigh of relief, bro. What's going on, man? Oh, I wanted to... <laughs> Talk to Grinder, bro. Like I know what's going on. You wanted to talk to Grinder? Yes, because I knew that this is what was gonna happen. You knew what was gonna happen. Yes. You knew what was gonna happen. I knew that this was a setup, dude. It's cool. You knew what was a setup. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Uh, sure. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but it has been not. So, a 15-year-old, how old are you? Oh, We're gonna find out, man. It doesn't matter. Because what? It's cool, man. If it's cool, then why are you running? Running? Why are you running if it's cool? What's cool? Get his plate. We got his plate. He's good. Like who? Are you just smiling? Later, That's skater. Weird. Make sure you don't fucking run over you, bro. Careful, dude. That close, man. Ah. Damn. Damn, buddy, now I stick around. Do not talk to children. Now, this happened in Kentwood, Michigan, where unfortunately places here are pretty understaffed. So while we weren't necessarily able to have anyone on scene this night, pretty much the next best thing happened, which I'll show before getting oh, into man. some pretty serious stuff. I'll start talking to him first. He contacted us on uh, the Grinder app, and then we moved to Snapchat. Wait, he met. Led him to believe that he was talking yeah. to a 15 year old. Yep. Male or female? Female. Heard. Guess this is the first time he could have done this? Mm, that's not. Okay. Yeah, so you just met this guy on Grindr about four hours ago, or. Can you just send me those screenshots? Yep. He walked in, saw all of you? Or no, he didn't. No, so we were in the bathroom. They talked for a few minutes. He started talking about, oh yeah, like when pool that nigga just sex, cool I won't it, come inside you. That nigga cool it for it, bro. Since I didn't bring condoms, and that's when we kind of like stepped in because she was getting anxious. How long do you think he was talking to you before they stepped in? It's probably two or three minutes. Yeah. What was his phone number? Did you get phone number? From him? Yeah. No. What was the Snapchat? The Snapchat was. He started on the grinder and then moved to some Snapchat. Yup, it was Dan dot Tana. I ain't gonna lie, these cops be on all this. That's proof, bro. This nigga said, "What's the Snapchat?" They gonna, bro. They on, they on all this shit. Bro. Can you just send those screenshots and oh. I'll go try to find this guy and see what I can. All right. See if I'll actually answer the door. All right, I'll go try to find him. All right, I appreciate it, man. I'm sure you're wondering probably a few things. What happened after the fact and why post this now? Because as previously mentioned, this video was recorded initially on May 26th, 2023. Almost a year ago by now. So what happened? After this interaction, I was made aware that police did show up at Elvis's residence, but that's pretty much all I was made aware of. A lot of this content is produced with the idea of raising awareness of, I guess, the internet and as this all started, Discord, as well as the primary intent to expose these weird mother... I would say about 75% of the catches and videos I do and whatnot don't even end up actually making it to YouTube and they end up on my FYP.fan service where you can view all my past and future content uncensored for a small monthly fee. Don't mind the plug, sorry, it fits right here. But this is where this video is posted. That's In that catalog that was this catch. As I figured this interaction was pretty minuscule and not that entertaining, so why really make a YouTube video on it? Especially if the police have all of the information that they could get. And it pretty much lied there dormant up until receiving this comment. Hey, I know this guy. If you guys need more information, let me know. He's a known predator around Grand Rapids named Elvis Vasquez. As it would turn out, this was not his first time. Or okay. second. Or even probably a hundredth. Hundred? Like five years ago, he would obsessively message me about having sex and how 
me is, even after I told him to stop, he told me he was in an open relationship when he was not. He was meeting Andrew? girls off of Tinder for years while being in a monogamous relationship. After a couple of months of knowing him, I told a friend of mine about him, and she said he messaged her on Tinder also. We started talking on Snapchat, and he told her he had herpes. He never told me that, and pressured me to have unprotected Didn't he try to go wrong? Oh, no. I luckily tested negative afterwards. I guess just to sum it up, he lies about having slash not having STDs, had a long term partner for years while he hooked up with girls of age from what I know, and took videos of people without their consent while they had sex. There's a direct message from someone that Elvis at one point was tangled with or who we had a situation with, but I have pretty good reason and faith to believe that this person wasn't lying. Because upon one Google search of the name that I was given, literal dozens of other stories from other girls sharing similar experiences and encounters that they've had with this guy popped up including a petition to keep him away from local events here in Grand Rapids, which I'd highly recommend checking out, and I'll leave a link below yeah, if you want to sign. And after doing a little more predator. research, I actually found out that this guy used to be a psychologist or psychiatrist of some time. Thankfully, he did get his license revoked. To wonder why. I think it's worth pointing out that in this quote, he allegedly pressured someone into having unprotected sex, sure. when that's basically what he tried doing here as well, again, with the 15-year-old. Oh, I forgot the condoms. Haha, <laughs> sorry. This man is still active throughout Grand Rapids, despite allegations spanning over a nine-year period. By right hand of God himself, I have never once asked for anyone to ever share a video of mine, ever, in any video. But if you could within the Grand Rapids, Michigan community of some sort, whether it be Reddit, Facebook, where have you, your share of you can Rapids cause a girl to recognize this man. I'd like to add that statement is the only one that was directly like given to me. I haven't reached out to any of the alleged victims, and I don't plan- Yeah, 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 tell it to the judge, buddy. Facts, bro. This nigga is like, yeah. Let me see this. I want to see what this.